question says a current of 79 milliamps exists in a middle wire. How many electrons flow past a given cross section of the wire in 10.8 minutes? And B, what direction do the electrons travel with respect to the current? The equation for current is, uh, is current I is equal to delta Q over T, where delta Q is equal to the charge that goes through the cross-sectional area of a wire. So if we imagine that this is our wire blown up and the cross-sectional area has this radius right here, then you know the cross-sectional area of the wire based on pi times the radius squared. So the number of electrons that go through that area in a given amount of time is equal to the charge. And so we can figure out what the, what the charge is. And the reason we want to find out the charge is because the number of electrons is equal to, is equal to the charge divided by the charge per electron. So the charge per electron is 1.6 1 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And notice that our, our charge is also going to be in coulombs, so the units will cancel out and we'll just be left with number of electrons. But if over here we solve for Q, we get that delta Q, delta Q is equal to I times delta T. So if we take the I times delta T and replace it for Q right here, we get that the number of electrons is equal to the current times the change of time divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So when you plug in your numbers, make sure you change 79 to 79 times 10 to the minus 3, so you convert it from milliamps to amps, and then make sure you change your, your delta T from 10.8 to 10.8 times 60, so you convert it from minutes to seconds. And when you do that, you'll get that the number of electrons is equal to 3.199 times 10 to the times 10 to the 20th, which I just plug in 3.2 times 10 to the 20th. It takes that, so that's, uh, that's fairly easy. Now, the other thing is it asks for um, what direction the electrons are traveling with respect to the current. So electrons always travel against the, the direction of the current, um, and positive charges always travel uh, with the direction of the current. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure if uh, this helps you out, give some plus one on Google+. Plus. Give a little thumbs up on Facebook and uh, share with your friends. And also, if you're watching this on, on YouTube, click the, uh, the like button. Now, if you have questions, like always, just uh, leave it down. If you're on my blog, leave it down in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube and you have questions, there's a link to my blog down in the comments of, or down in the about section. So click that link and then you can leave a question in the comments of my blog and I'll get back with you.